Well, I, I would say in retrospect, you know, I speak also in the second chapter of my book about going when I was only 19 years old, going to a Rolling Stones concert uh, and Mick Jagger actually wearing my hat. I was in the front row and I had this uh, Uncle Sam hat on and Mick Jagger wanted to wear it and he wore my hat during the concert and everything. But that afterwards that I felt a big letdown. And when I don't think I had a, uh, the wherewithal to examine that letdown, but I remembered it. I always remembered it. And I think that what it really came down to was that I was supposed to be a different person because Mick Jagger wore my hat. It was supposed to be some kind of a new level of consciousness as a result. When meanwhile, I had reverted back. I was just having a breakfast with somebody this morning. We were talking about it. I said, a lot of times what precipitates a midlife crisis, I believe, is that you keep thinking that somewhere down the road, there's something I'm looking for. When I get there, I'll, I'll have arrived. We want that sense of arrived. In a Christian terminology, we would say, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. I've arrived. And we keep thinking, well, if I get the Corvette, I'll have arrived. No. Well, if I just get promoted, I'll have arrived. No. And after about 20 years of chasing things and finding out that they're not delivering on this sense of having arrived, uh, we begin to question if there's anything out there. And uh, I believe that was one of the things that precipitated my whole life's quest was this sense that I kept chasing uh, things that were not delivering on the back end. So I finally came up through the help with Joseph Campbell's Hero's Journey with this concept of that all of life longs for transformation. Every acorn's longing to be an oak. But there's three kinds of transformation. When a thirsty man drinks, he transforms his condition. When a poor man hits the lottery, he transforms his circumstances. But when Mr. Scrooge wakes up on Christmas morning, an utterly new man, he has experienced a transformation of being. And I finally realized that what I was looking for, what the monks are looking for, and I would actually argue all of us are at heart are looking for, is a change of heart, a transformation of being, to be utterly transformed. And in my definition of that is to be transformed from a selfish person into a selfless person. Um, that deep down inside, we may think we want selfishness, but we really want selflessness. And that's the main thesis of my book, and that the more selfless you become, the more successful you will be in life. And that, is that how you make the, tran the, the, the transformation into business, or how does that flip over into business? Uh, ab absolutely, you know, um, you know, again, we're using the term becoming, that you will become successful. You don't learn success. Uh, you have to become successful. And a becoming, anytime we're talking about a becoming process philosophically, that is a transformation of being. Where we're going from a caterpillar into a butterfly. Um, and absolutely, as I say, uh, some real quick and dirty ways of saying it is every great salesman realizes the more he forgets about himself, forgets about his product, forgets about his commissions, forgets about his quota, and instead fanatically focuses on selflessly serving his customers' needs, the more sales he makes. So the sales become the byproduct. The success that other people seem to admire in that salesman is actually the byproduct of his selflessness. When entire corporations or nonprofits or schools or whatever uh, selflessly focus on their customers, then the successful kinds of things that they're looking for, like profit, be, come along for the ride. And perhaps most importantly, when, um, when, when leaders realize that their job is not for them to become successful, but to make other people successful, mm -hmm. the more, if you want to be promoted, the fastest way to get promoted is to help other people get promoted. Mm -hmm. That's the quickest and most direct way to get promoted in any organization that's an authentic organ, that's a halfway decent organization, is to get other people. So the job of leadership is not to make me successful. I shouldn't even want to become a leader so that I can be successful. I should want, the closer you accomplish saying, wow, I really would love to be promoted into a leadership role so that I can help other people be successful. The more you actually feel that way and act that way, the quicker you'll be you'll 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 uh, be promoted. So I have this one thing I ex end up saying at the end of one of my chapters: the less I worry about money, the more money I make. 